All right, everybody, just a uh, quick video. Um, I haven't really updated anybody on my lawsuit against Alfonso, Alfonso Noel and Active World Club uh, because it's been well over a year on this lawsuit. But uh, it the first part has ended. Um, I did receive the judgment uh, yesterday or two days ago, I believe. Uh, as you can see, signed by the judge for a million dollars or a little less than a million dollars. Um, so that's officially done and over with. So I'm going to start uh, when I'm going to get on camera on these next videos, but I'm going to kind of basically, oh, I'm not going to kind of, I'm going to break down basically the whole scam uh, from start um, to where it's at now. And that they're the the continuation of the scam uh, through Da Vinci Pay, um, NSAVX, and uh, the the the, the rebrand of the exchange, which he legally could not sell because he didn't legally own it in the first place. So I'll get into all of that, um, and I'll break everything down, um, and we'll go. I'll go over the 150 page. Um, discovery and deposition that we put on them. And so I'll kind of give you the play by play of uh, the deposition that we did. Um, once the courts actually released the actual video, then I'll, I'll drop that. But I, I do have the uh, deposition. So I'll kind of, I'll play by play that whole deposition which will be over the course of a few videos so y'all can kind of understand how alfonso is outside of discord and telegram and twitter and all that shit right so um he projects out you know uh professionalism and a smooth talker but we have the scam because he basically admitted to it under deposition, which is why he ended up wanting to settle and did not want to go to trial because he knew that we were going to do a trial by jury and it was going to definitely be over at that point. Um, because now I, we can unload everything that we had against him in front of a jury. And obviously he didn't want that. So it was easier for him to just kind of settle and then walk and then pull a scam on me, which is fine. Like I said, it's, this is the end of the beginning and then uh now i get to have my fun uh because i was told i had to be quiet for a year during the lawsuit but now i do not have to and there's nothing that alfonso can rebuttal publicly to anybody because i'm going to unload the truth the discovery and the deposition so he can't once I start dropping all this information to everybody and y'all can decipher through it and see how he actually is behind closed doors. When y'all start confronting him and all of his new scams, give bucks is another scam. So basically all of the tokens within that, the AWC platform, they're all scams. Just so y'all know, um, there's, a, there's never any liquidity. Uh, the use case, you know, the quote unquote use case and utility that's just a term that they use to get y'all to keep buying these tokens. Um, and as we all now know, um, there's no liquidity on any of these tokens. There never is, even though they tell all of you they're going to put liquidity. They've been telling everybody since 2020 that they were going to do all that um, with the club tokens and they never have. And that's fine. I personally don't care anymore because... I have my judgment and then I'm going to continue to proceed. We still have another lawsuit we're going to file. Um, and then obviously uh, we have the criminal charges that should be filed tomorrow. I believe I have to double check with my attorney. So there's still more work that I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to make sure that Alfonso never gets a good night's sleep, even though he's going to be, good at projecting out to everybody else that, Oh no, none of this is really happening. There's no scams going on. No, there, there are. It's just as investors, unfortunately y'all are too fucking retarded to actually see the scam because y'all have invested your money and now you're hoping and praying that they deliver 
and they're not going to deliver. So, um, and they, they never have. So, like I said, I'll start unraveling all this stuff here probably in the next week or two. But I just kind of wanted to show you all that the judgment is now officially done. I won because he ran like a little bitch. And um, now I get to continue to have my fun uh, with Alfonso. And um, we'll move it along and proceed with the criminal case um, along with probably another um, ch a separate civil charge that has nothing to do with this lawsuit. It'll be something completely different. So I'm going to continue to stay on his ass because I have more money than he is. And I have more time. He knows it because we'll go over that. Like I said, it was in the deposition. He was like, Oh my God, Scott has all these millions of dollars. He's just coming after me because he's bored. Uh, technically that is true, but he also owed me about $5 million, which I'll get into that as well. Uh, because I have all of their financials and bank statements and all that stuff. And I'll unload all that so y'all can watch where who can, who the money was paid in, who got paid out. Um, so you'll see all the dirty players that are involved with the club because they're in the financials and they are also in the uh, discovery and um, sorry got sidetracked so they're all those names are all in there so it's not anything that i'm making up because i'll show you the screenshots of uh all of that that we did under in front of the judge and on video and all that shit so uh it'll be fun so for now i just kind of wanted to put this video out because i'm sure a few of you well i know a few of you um have been hitting me up and i don't respond um because i've been waiting so but officially it's done the judge obviously signed and, um, you know, it's not really a win. Um, the million dollars means nothing to me. Um, cause I'm going to keep going further and, you know, he'll eventually the criminal charges are the main thing. So this is just kind of the beginning of that. So I have to do one thing at a time. And uh, obviously I'm the only one that has the money to fuck with this guy. Um, it seems everybody else who invested are broke for some reason, which is, kind of strange but anyways uh moving on so i'll y'all enjoy this video and then like i said probably a week or two it depends on how i feel um i gotta unload that zip file that i have and uh, kind of go through everything emails text messages um you name it i got all the dirt so um you know partnerships with uh, other companies you know they obviously i have their emails when they filed out, I end up following suit. So I got all that, but I will unload all that. So it's not going to be, it's all going to be, um, uh, files that we entered, you know, to the court. So, uh, no photoshops, even though that's what Alfonso likes to do. He likes to make shit up. Right. So uh, I'm just going to unzip all those files. Uh, it's a massive, uh, zip file by the way. So it's, I got to kind of go back over to all that stuff and I'll start dumping that shit on my videos and y'all can enjoy, uh, and I'll unravel, the whole scam from the start to where we are even now. Um, so y'all, I, I can, so y'all can see kind of how it started and how it got to the point to where it is now. And obviously my involvement. So see, that's the perk of being me. I have nothing to hide. So it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, even though Alfonso, he always argued during a trial, well, Scott's doing this. Scott's doing that. He's harassing me. Ah, da, 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 da. He never once, not one time through my attorneys, we ask him under oath. We were like, well, provide it, provide it to the court. He never did. So he never, he doesn't have shit. He never says he has shit, even though he told investors, I have everything on Scott. He has nothing because nothing stuck. As a matter of fact, his counterclaim and his countersuit got smashed by the judge and said, dude, get this shit out of here. So, you know, look, this stuff is not fun. It's time consuming and it takes up energy. But this is the dirty part of the crypto space and investing, especially when you deal with scammers. This is what you have to do. Um, you have to fuck with these dudes in court because this is the only way you get to know the majority of the truth, I'm still, there's some, I'm sure there's some shit out there that I don't know about, but I'll get to it eventually. Uh, but I'll leave it at that. So, um, y'all enjoy. And also, like I said, I'll start dumping some docs here, uh, in a week or two. Uh, y'all have a good one.